Shelton. Slippery layup. And out no good, but they'll get the tip in. Great offensive rebound and put back. G. Lau wasting no time. Felt it right there as Kennard gets the bucket. Felton for three. No good. And effective. If effective. True pick and pop for it. Felton to the rim. Just could not. And Felton has it. And he'll set the table for combine. Felton downhill. Blocked away. Felton is hit. But a lot of these players are, are, are so used to that movement that it's really kind of changed the game a little bit. Felton can. Movement continues. Combine takes a three. Tried to answer, and we're going to get a push, and we get another three. That one no good. Splits the defense. That left hand layup is Clark. Clark goes back to Kennard. On the run. Oh, another jam. Mm. Beautiful move there. Return fire. And Pasmore again. Eight baskets. Pull up jump shot. No good. Rebound by Jones. They'll get it to Passmore again. Misses the layup and can come away with the victory here. Yeah, we, we never would have made it to this point if it wasn't for the hot shooting of Combine Prep as well as their efforts on the offensive allowing DNA to sustain runs.
Yeah, the well-oiled machine that has been combined all game is not quite here to start the fourth. This will be a prime opportunity for DNA to... So that's really the major difference. Now, you look at that and you say, okay, they should have more than a one-point advantage. Well, the reason why it's only a one-point advantage is because five turnovers from DNA going to the basket, no good. Jones again tried to three, almost got it to go down. Justin, I'd love to know your thoughts. As Combine Academy seems to have it going, but they haven't quite pulled away like you think they might be able to. Wow. Yeah, they, they said... Jones may go up there as the best shooter we've seen so far. Floater over the top. That one no good. Jones couldn't get that. Avoid that scenario. Almost another three. Spacing. Clock down to six. What a shot! That was a big time. Would need to happen. Um, well, I think it starts with what you said earlier today. Um, you got to get stops. You got to get a kill. I think it all starts. in the game prior to this one, Combine Academy is always elite. They always play hard. They play together. Uh, I, I think that we're going to see a uh, back and forth battle. Ripped away. That one felt and just took it away from him. Three ball. No. No good. Jones will rebound. They'll kick it out. Pull up jump shot. Got it. Combine answers. Hold from outside. Could not get the three to go. Crossover headed down. He'll kick to the corner. That three, no good. Prep. Uh, that's that's the biggest takeaway is that there's a lot of depth on this combine team. And, and Coach Frank Robinson told me it, it, in pregame that they're a young team. Mm -hmm. DNA preps. My game plan was to dive out of the way. That's what I was thinking. But. Combine Academy with the basketball. Oh, what a layup. Yeah. And it's really kind of changed the game a little bit. Felton continues to struggle mm. scoring the basketball, but then a lot of other things. They'll continue to work their action.
head coach Frank Robinson. Frank has experience playing at the professional level, coaching at the collegiate level. Um, he's coached a lot of extremely high-level players. He was the former. Here's Felton with the basketball, probing. Got it inside. Got it inside. Rivers, no good, but the follow is good. Picked up, air ball at the basket, outlet. Combine's got numbers and one. Finished at the. Oh, what a slam! These two teams picking up the pace again. Both teams find their rhythm. Jones again, tried the three, almost got it to go down. But he will kick out that three. Off. They're going to have to adjust the way that they're playing this game right now. Nifty layup there, no good. And trapped the basketball, Felton gets out of it. And they get a layup. The combine able to break it down. Got into the paint, got downhill, and was able to finish. Knight spinning. That jump hook, no good. From Felton was good. Mm. At three. As we mentioned in the game. Felton couldn't get that one to go. Rivers has got. Mm. Rivers, night for three. Tries to get it going. Driving. McKnight, no. I like the ball. Got it inside, Rivers, no good, but the follow. I always that enjoy, throw is good. Sorry, I always enjoy hearing the coaches communicate and coach up their players. You know, the, the keys that they're giving them. Combine Academy up two, they'll have the ball. One minute, 27 seconds remaining. So, second chance opportunities, second chance points, five second chance points for DNA versus zero for Combine. So that's really the major difference. Now, you look at that, you'd say, okay, they should have more than a one-point advantage. Well, the reason why it's only a one-point advantage is because both teams back onto the floor. It'll be Felton looking to set up the offense for Combine. 52-43 is our score. They'll run a trap at Felton. Felton was able to get rid of it. The hole gets the score. ZZ Clark with his first bucket of the fourth quarter. Now we'll see that. That defense, full court defense. DNA will continue to try and pressure. 
and trap the basketball. Felty gets out of it. And they get a layup. So second chance opportunities, second chance points, five second chance points for DNA versus zero for combine. So that's really the major difference. Now, you look at that and you say, okay, they should have more than a one-point advantage. Well, the reason why it's only a one-point advantage is because it's the same space that you're going. At that point, he should have either finished at the rim or kicked it to the wing. As we mentioned, in the game...
them play hard. Another hard-fought battle like we saw in the game prior to this one. Combine Academy is always elite. They always play hard. They play together. I, I, I think that we're going to see uh, back and forth. You asked, point basket. you asked me earlier about the impact of the NBA three-point line and the, the facility that the DNA trains out of is one of those facilities that trains NBA players. So they're shooting, they're shooting from that NBA three all the time. They're used to this. Ball movement continues. Combine takes a three, tried to answer, and we're going to get a push. That one's going to go, I believe it's going to attack and just stripped away. That one felt and just took it away from him. Three ball. No. ZZ Clark we had a gets low, the deuce. We had a low in scoring for a little bit up until then, but he got into the paint, got downhill, and was able to finish. Knight spinning. Second free throw is good by Kaji. Felton. Beautiful action right there, and they get a three. That three by Jalau. Oh, what a slam! These two teams picking up the pay good. Jones will rebound. They'll kick it out. Pull up jump shot. Got it. Combine answer. Combine will get it and push. Deep three. Straight on and got it. Could take a page out of SoCal Academy's book. That was the key to their victory a few minutes ago. Fantastic ball movement. Felton looks at it. They'll get a kick. That three, no good. DNA just going cold from outside. Could not get the three to go. Crossover headed down. He'll kick to the corner. That three, no moment in the basketball game, Justin. I'd love to know your thoughts. As Combine Academy seems to have it going, but they haven't quite pulled away like you think they might be able to. Wow. Yeah, they... Jones may go up there as the best shooter we've seen so far. Floater over the top. That one no good. Jones couldn't get that one to go. He tips it out. A bucket right there as Kennard gets the bucket. Felton for three. Academy up by 10. Poised to take control, but Still a lot of time left in this basketball game. Oh, it's still anybody's ball game for sure. But DNA Prep's going to have to get some stops. They're going to have to adjust the way that they're playing this game right now. Nifty layup there. No good. Beautiful move there. Return fire. And Pasmore again. As Rivers comes back into the game, he's been effective. It's for combine. Effective. True pick and pop threat. Felton to the rim. That's stolen, but that's how the first half win. 34. Action here. We got Combine Academy with the lead. Leading 34-22 over DNA Prep Academy out of Chatsworth, California. I'm Andre Allen here with Justin Brantley. Justin. Give us your breakdown of what you were able to see in the first half between these two teams. The biggest thing I would say is the depth. You know, 21 points off the bench from Combine, two off the bench from, from DNA Prep. Uh, that's, that's the biggest takeaway is that there's a lot of depth on this Combine team. And, and Coach Frank Robinson told me it, in pregame that it down. Yeah, that driving three. kick is so effective when used the right way when you turn. I was prepared to make a business decision if the big fella jumped on the table. <laughs> I don't know if I could have moved quick enough. I'm not as young as I used to be. My game plan was to dive out of the way. That's what I was thinking. But. Combine Academy with the basketball. Oh, what a layup. Yeah. 43-33. Coach Mark 
Edwards is coaching his guys up on how to avoid that scenario. Good. Sanu had it, but it was smacked away. Passmore with the basketball as Kambon tries to get it going. Driving. Oh, they're being consistent about oh, the travel call. 100%. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, to be honest with you. But you're right. <laughs> Me either. But I've always said if you're going to be consistent about it, then the players and coaches can adjust to it. Absolutely. Either be consistently bad or consistently good. Either way. But here's Felton with the basketball probing. Got it inside. And they'll get a score. No good. Felton has the rebound. Combine Academy and he'll push. Shot clock will be off. Let's see if they go one shot here. There's no shot clock. 23 seconds on the game clock, so the shot clock is turned off, and Combine Academy will go for one. Spacing. Clock down to six. What a shot! Been the hot shooting of Combine Academy from three. That's been a major difference in this basketball game. Justin, do you think they hold on and can come away with the victory here? Yeah, we, we never would have made it to this point if it wasn't for the hot shooting of Combine Prep as well as their efforts on the... They're, they're not allowing DNA to sustain runs. And it's basket or foul basketball all the way through, I would imagine. If for combine. And now let's flip it over. You know, what well, in order for DNA to come back, what are some things that you think would need to happen? Um, well, I think it starts with what you said earlier today. Um, you got to get stops. You got to get a kill. I think it all starts for them there. I think that's the result. <laughs> we are the fighting chromosomes. <laughs> get a bucket there by Kanji. And that was a sloppy play there, but could not come away with it. Yeah, the well-oiled machine that has been combined all game is not quite here to start the fourth. This would be a prime opportunity. Kanji with the jam. DNA Prep is playing to the final horn here, and that's something that we, we kind of expected, we knew was going to happen. But... There's no giving up in this team, and they're still very much in this ball game. It's a seven-point ball game, just under four minutes to go. DNA going to continue to show pressure. They give up 0-3. That one is short. Diving on the floor for a loose ball to be out of bounds. Chased it down. Had an opportunity at the offensive rebound, but couldn't hold on to it. Felton has it. Felton. Maybe got away with a travel there, but they'll say he held, held his pivot foot. Felton gets it back, and it'll be Clark on Felton. Got it inside. Rivers, no good, but the follow right there. But a lot of these players are, are, are so used to that movement that it's really kind of changed the game a little bit. Felton continues to struggle mm. scoring the basketball. Well, Got to finish at the rim. The zone from Combine wasn't as it, it wasn't as structured as we've seen earlier. You know, it seems like they're starting to lose a little bit of that intensity, and that's why DNA is creeping back into this thing. They need to kind of put an exclamation, put a nail in the coffin. Let's see if they're able to do it here on this offensive possession. They'll continue to work their action. Hey, Hole gets the score. ZZ Clark with his first bucket of the fourth quarter. Now we'll see that 
that defense, full court defense. DNA will continue to try and pressure and trap the basketball. Felton gets out of it. And they get a layup. Experience playing at the professional level, coaching at the collegiate level. Um, he's coached a lot of extreme. Open in the corner, missed him, but they do get the ball in bounds. Jasim Felton gets it inside. Oh, we've got a hard fall. Second free throw from Felton was good. Mm. At three. Mm. Rivers, night.
second free throw from Felton was good. Mm. At three. So second chance opportunities, second chance points, five second chance points for DNA versus zero for combine. So that's really the major difference. Now, you look at that, you say, okay, they should have more than a one-point advantage. Well, the reason why it's only a one-point advantage is because... And it's basket or foul basketball all the way through, I would imagine, if, for if, combine. And now let's flip it over. You know, what, in order for DNA to come back, what are some things that you think would need to happen? Um, well, I think it starts with what you said earlier today. Um, you got to get stops. You got to get a kill. I think it all starts for them there. I think that's... the defense that left hand layup is air ball at the basket outlet combine's got numbers and one finished at the basket it's getting no good Jones again tried the three almost got it to go down but he will kick out that three good, but they'll get the tip in great offensive rebound and put back G. Lau wasting no time. Felton couldn't get that one to go. Rivers has got it. Jones may go up there as the best shooter we've seen so far. Floater over the top. That one no good. Jones couldn't get that one to go. He tips it out. The On the run. Oh! Another shot, no good. Rebound by Jones. They'll get it to pass more again. Misses the lane, and they get a three out of it. Could they be finding their rhythm? Yeah. And Felton has it, and he'll set the table for combine. Felton, downhill, blocked away. Felton has had seven on that three-point basket. First bucket of the game. That's Morris Davis right there. 
but a lot of these players are, are, are so used to that movement that it's really kind of changed the game a little bit. Felton continues to struggle mm. scoring the basketball. This game and the previous game, both of these teams are starting out really high action, high intensity. Well, the other thing that I'm seeing is more intentional paint touches. You know, Combine is making sure to find their bigs. They're moving the basketball. They understand that you know, spacing is not just created by playing on the perimeter. It's created by allowing the ball to go inside and sometimes work inside out. Eight players in the book with a bucket so far. DNA Pro with the basketball. And Clark in the backcourt with Kennard will set the table for DNA. Clark had a three early. Now we're late in the shot clock. Loader. Pass more for two. Trap for combine, almost got them a turnover, but no, they'll take a three. That one off the back of the rim, no good. Ball will move. DNA on there. We're in an era of which you know, we do have a lot of uncoachable players around. And we'll get a foul right there. That will go against Jones. That's his first foul. One point basketball game. 11 10. Now they send a trap. Picked up. 
from Knight gets the three to go. I like his size and potential. DNA will work some offense here. Drew Knight away from the basket. They'll kick a little floater over the top. Tried to follow. They will get a tip and we'll get some action. That's all good. They'll rebound and run here. This Clark point. thought about the three, did not take it. They'll move the ball three straight along. Combine Academy lead back up to 11. Now Combine will show some zone. Oh. I think it could mean a lot if they get a three here and cut the lead to seven. That could be... Momentum builder. There's the three. In and out, no good ball game between DNA Prep Academy and Combine Academy. We've got North Carolina in Combine Academy versus Chatsworth, California, and DNA Prep. Two teams going head to head. Fantastic action. See that zone from Combine.
high level players. He was the former head coach of Donda Academy. He has his eighth grade son playing on this team. So I expect a fourth battle. I think we're going to see two teams that are never going to give up until that final horn blows. Diallo starts us off with a bucket from Combine Academy. And we got a three. Ooh. DNA answers with the three. A little running gun action here. Clark thought about the three. A dribble handoff here. Clark spins through the lane. That jump hook no good. Might be the first jump hook we've seen today. I believe it is. I thought Clark was going to pull that one, decided against it. Kick to the corner. We'll get a corner three. Slippery layup. Could not get the reverse layup to go. DNA prep on the run. Good ball movement. They all attack. Nice drop-off pass underneath. It'll be a turnover. It's going to be interesting to see the turnover numbers in this game. Got a nice drive right there. Approaching the one-minute mark. Still got a one-point basketball game. Pull-up jumper. That one no good. DNA will have another opportunity. 25 seconds on the shot clock. The offensive rebounds and second chance opportunities have all been there for DNA. And it's just how hard you play and what the effort looks like. Five turnovers from DNA, zero from Combine. Combine gets the game started, gets the second quarter started with a three from Jones. DNA will try to answer with a three. That one knows with a deuce. DNA going to the back. They'll get a steal. Now they'll get it inside. As Clark tries to get behind the three-point line. DNA is fighting for every offensive board. Yeah, they, they said, say what, Madre? <laughs> Paul Jones. Lethal from three. Pull away, pull away you said? <laughs> we got you. Up 12. Well, this is a very important moment of the game to close out the first half. You're down 12 here. If you can cut that to you know, eight or so, six or so, you're in a very good space going into the second half. We've seen some inefficient spacing for DNA. But they get a, no good. Kennard has it. He'll deal with the pressure. He gets it to Clark. DNA will look inside. But the ball will go back to Clark. Tried the floater. That one was stuck. Wow. It was almost DNA on the run. They'll get it to Clark. Clark goes back to Kennard. Damn! I didn't know he was going to elevate like that. Woo! Pass more. Has the elevator that goes all the way up to the top. Mm. Anything you can do, I can do better. As these two teams trade baskets. Pull up jump shot. We are back with our second half of action here at Holiday Hoops Giving, hosted here at Kip Atlanta Collegiate. The things that they're telling them. And two quick fouls there for River. Four, three. Guess that's why they left them out there. They tried another lob. Could not get that one to go for DNA prep, but they may remain with the basketball. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Got behind the three-point line and knocked. 
I think it could mean a lot if they get a three here and cut the lead to seven. That could be momentum builder. There's the three. In and out, no good. Knight, no. I like the ball movement. I like how connected they are, how well they share the ball and find the open player. Nobody's in a rush. Nobody's looking for individual accolades. Good ball movement right there for DNA. Overcome a, it, it was seemingly insurmountable. It was a 12-point lead at half. It's down to seven. You're trying to stop this run that DNA's on and you get called for that. Now you're seeing the ball movement improve, but also on the offensive glass. Out of DNA starting the fourth quarter with the ball in their hands. We'll see some full court man pressure. We'll see where they go with the ball. I would try to get the hands into this young man, ZZ Clark. Clark off the glass. It was knocked away right there to get a hold of that offensive rebound. Kick out, they'll get a three. That was a big time three because the spacing was off and you saw the extra defender. DNA running, trying to get back into this basketball game. Clark with it, still a lot of time left. 20 seconds on the shot clock. They've got time to get some work. Nice that pull-up pull up jump, jump shot Ooh. there, air ball. Great defense through the entire possession. You don't want to, have to give up two like that. Two, two stops in a row for DNA prep. They need one more for the kill. That three is short. Mr. Consistency. Fifty-nine forty-seven. About ninety seconds left in the basketball game. Beautiful combine, able to break it down just by taking their time, being patient, pulling it out, and keeping the eyes around the court to see where the open man was. Shot clock is off. Clark with the three. End up with the steal. They've got numbers two on one. Layton got up in the air and threw it down. Chandler Watts for DNA has the ball. Jaden Robinson. They're a young team. DNA preps a young team. So I kind of expected to see that a little bit, but you know, not that big of a differential for DNA to try and you know close some of the ground. Look, they're right here in this. And the lead is now just, but no, a turnover. We'll have a run out and a jam. Seconds remaining. There's still a chance. Clark to the second free throw from Passmore is good. We'll get some nice. defense, but they'll try not to foul. And they get
you might start some controversy. I don't want any smoke with Coach Penny Collins. That is my guy. Yeah, he committed to Tennessee State in Tipped away. On the floor, it will remain. That was on Walker. Some of their playmakers are starting to pick up multiple fouls here early in the third. ZZ Clark with the basketball. Had a good first quarter and then went quiet in the second. Let's work to get him the basketball again and immediately Combine Academy will double to try to take it away. Shorten that run and then how can you counter it? And that's what Combine's been able to do very well here today. Figure out what the DNA prep mascot is. Is it a picture of uh, a, a human chromosome? Played about three minutes of basketball. The score is three to two. And we get another three. 18 seconds on the shot clock. That's something to look out for. As DNA will, can waste no time getting into their offense. As they cross half court, shot clock down to 10. Three-point field goal there. That one no good. Well, I I've been working for. Well, you can come off the bench and shoot your first one with that type of confidence. Definitely put in some work. Almost threw it away. On the keeper, they'll get it inside. No, he's going to be. Will inbound. Clark with it. 
He kicks to the corner. They'll take a three. In and out, no 